Um, if you've got any questions, please fire away. As always, we um, incorporate within our webinars one or two light-hearted comments, uh, and we uh, we have a quiz to come. You know, I, I'll tell you what. In preparation for this, I've been doing a bit of research, and uh, tells a really interesting website is on today. I was on. Um, I think we've ever visited conjunctivitis.com. <laughs> That's a site for sore eyes. And uh, so, uh, yeah, we're doing that today. And all, also, that, that's the thing, I've got two complaints there. I've also done the Royal Mail one. I ran up BT to complain about a nuisance caller. And the guy said to me on the phone, no, not you again. Anyway, let's uh, let's move. I was going to do some chimney jokes. I've got a stack of them, but uh, the first one's on the house. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move swiftly along today. We're going to talk about um, talk about tip all right, TikTok. So here we, as always, we go off on a bit of a tangent, uh, and we do a little we do a little quiz. Uh, and today's quiz, all it is, is, is five five two minutes. Guess guess the logo. Guess the logo. So anyone uh, taking up on this one, just for get us warmed up. There we go. We've got two people. You honestly, Claire, what are you doing? YouTube. This is a bit politically incorrect. This one, I think. Marlborough. Whoa, who got that one right? Who got that one right? HSBC, honestly. <laughs> What do you think? Hey, here we go. A bit more closer to home. Who's got that one? Mm. Who's got that one? Not correctly as well. Hope you don't mind. Hope you don't mind. I'm going to silence everybody. Are you okay? Don't mind that one. Oh, we've got Budweiser. Well done, Becky. Yeah, Budweiser. And what have we got next? Oh, it's a bit old. Who remembers this? A uh, bit of a throwback. Bit of a throwback. Hey! Oh, doesn't it bring back memories? Doesn't it bring back memories of childhood? Sesame Street. Now, another childhood memory. Come on. More of a boy's question, this one, than it may be. I don't know. So politically incorrect, that one. Oh, yeah. oh, no, not a boy's question, because the ladies are on it very fast. There we are. Hot Wheels. What a, my favourite, does it? Now, who's going to get this one on today's logo before nice. the fun starts? Oh, we've got, yes, Michelle, it is indeed. Well spelt, well spelt. And oh, just um, thought I'd have a fashionable one there. To st <coughs> Hang on a second. We posture you right there. Man. Let's get that right. Oh, we've got there. It is. Deborah and Becky on it there. Good old Tommy. Oh, can't beat. Come on. You see, I'm uh... the book you, pop. you just can't stop. Yes, it is. Thank you. Oh, easy that one. Right, make it more difficult now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 leave it. Uh, mm? uh, there we go. Oh, oh, Becky. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wins a prize for being. It is one of the very first social oh. media platforms. MySpace. And last but not least, on today's logo quiz, we've got this. Oh, come on. Tell you what, well, I don't know what Claire had for lunch, but honestly, yes, indeed, it. it's Reddit, a good mm. platform for all aspects of questions and answers and linkage. So here we go. Why use TikTok? So please, any if you kind of did to silence the microphones or anything like that, and then we'll just fire away if you've got any questions on the chat line. And as always, it's quickity quick. So why use TikTok? The answer is on the screen. You know, by the next five years, we're going to be up to nearly, nearly six billion social media users. So we're, we're the, on the case. Social media is on it on the march in, inexorably. And so you think that the, the oh, quick quiz there, the three most used social media platforms. Those of you who attended my courses before will know are. Oh, drum roll. Well, we've always, this is always, a, this is a staple question. And there we are on the screen are the most popular social media platform. So Facebook, YouTube, WhatsApp, Instagram, and you'll whiz down uh, like pop pickers and Alan Freeman-esque coming up in the charts is TikTok, where we have 1.02 billion. But those of you who are slightly eagle-eyed, and look at this slide, might notice something that there's a platform there twice. Oh, who's, who, who has spotted that? 
Well, I don't know. Are you waiting for the answer? Or am I going to just quickly reach for the chat line? Oh, there's a platform there twice. Do you know which one it is? No. Well, let me tell you. It is TikTok. Oh, hang on. Messenger and Facebook, not quite. Because I think you'll find that Doyen is, uh, is, uh, is the name for TikTok far afield and has its place. Um, as well as the 1.2 actually using TikTok. There we go, a little bit of trivia for you there. Right, so let's, so TikTok billion and a bit. So a uh, lot fast growing platform, which we'll come on to in a minute. But the key thing to remember, I say this numerous times, and I say it at today's workshop, that so, social media exists for people. What do people want? They want entertaining, engaging content. So. TikTok has found its home in that regard. So please, little tip, whenever you're thinking about posting, just always think of it very much from your audience's perspective. If you want to entertain, you want to engage, here's a place for you. Now, the key thing, I always say this, and we'll start here, that many successful companies use different platforms in different ways. And I'll give you a very quick explanation which will set the table. Critically, I'd advise each and every one of you to use platforms with tailored content and not to cross post. So many of you might be using Facebook and Instagram, and it's the same post on both platforms. Alas, let me give you an example of GoPro, big brand, and they would use Facebook to, to promote the business, to connect with customers personally. And here is an example on the screen. The GoPro are using what is known as user-generated content. A great picture of a chopper there. And so uh, snapped by Jose Angel. So they, they're posting their users' content on Facebook. Great pictures. But then they use Twitter to communicate with their followers and announce new products. And alas, they use Instagram to show off their own high quality photos and video. Here is a great image on the screen about how the GoPro is using Instagram in a slightly different way than they're using Facebook and they're using Twitter, which leads on to GoPro using YouTube to share tricks and tutorials and enthusiasts how to fulfill the product's potential. I hope you all follow me. Can I hang on a second, you're thinking, isn't there something missing here? Well, it's there. Uh oh. It's time we use TikTok. So, GoPro use TikTok very much to create what many of you are familiar with, and those of you who are TikTok users, are challenges. So, they want to, they're posting funny clips, backflips, who knows what it is, worthy moments, and to get opportunity to win an award. So, you're submitting to TikTok user content, funny stuff. So you can see in this particular case, there are five platforms using five different ways. So let's move swiftly along. Some of you may be newbies, some of you not. So let's answer the question, what is TikTok? Well, a few things. TikTok is an app. It's to create and share and watch short form videos. Short and sweet, often considered to be the optimum length, is somewhere between 8 and 15 seconds. Now, the users have their home screen for you, where they can swipe up to watch video after video. So you're sitting there and you've got that screen. The app has fantastic editing features, filters and sound clips to create your own video content. You've got it all in front of your eyes. And the fantastic thing is it is a one-stop shop for creating quick content. Now, we we're discussing this early in the day at the workshop. You know, you just have to create a video in front of your eyes and so much can happen. I'll quickly show it a little bit later about captions, sound, and uh, little um, uh, things to bring, the, bring your videos to life. So that is a two minute explanation about what TikTok is. Here is an example. You might wish to check this out. Well, it says that James Lewis is an artist. 
he publishes real-time videos of his creations and then he invites customers to workshops to buy. It's a great way. It's not a fantastic image, please forgive me, but he is using TikTok to show off his artistic skills. Much the same way as I reminisce about Bob Ross and Tony Hart and people like that actually showing what you do. That's a good example there. Now, here's the big question. Why should you use TikTok? Not an unreasonable thing to ask. Well, here is it. The key thing to remember, it probably is probably it's most best known for brand awareness. It's easy to enter it. You've got a high possibility of visibility, but it's about authenticity. So there isn't what we describe as slick and polish, over curated content. You can actually be a more Blair Witch project than another particular film I can't think of, but you can think you're going from what, so it's about authenticity. It doesn't matter if things don't go 100%. It doesn't have to be Spielbergian. And the key thing then is it's great for generating leads because the, the, the actually you're piquing the interest of the audience and you can be driving viewers to your business page. Now, I'll give you some examples here of, of real impact. And you might want to look these up. The world kind of ran dry of cranberry juice, uh, ocean spray recent last year, a gentleman was filmed on a skateboard, drinking cranberry juice, lip syncing to Fleetwood Max Dreams. Please, this is true, these aren't rumors. Uh, if you're not watching, you can always go your own way. So, uh, so this is cranberry juice, and that was a great example, worth checking that one out. It, it made a massive impact on the sales as well as on the downloads. And then there was the uh, tomato and feta cheese uh, scenario. Again, great for pasta bake. And that was another one we want to check that out. And thirdly, it's often considered that one of the major impacts of TikTok was that it was the engine room uh, for the growth, particularly of air fryers, of which we have one in our kitchen now. Uh, so, so you can see the actual uh, the use of viral and, and engaging content can have a huge impact. So, I'm going to have a little drink now, and I'm going to reach my my afternoon cocktail and ask the question: When did TikTok start? And the answer is, he says, hopefully going to the chat line. I know there, and the answer is, if no one is there, I'm going to quickly give you, oh, it started in, going, going, gone. It, oh, it, oh it's, this, is one, this is one that slides with the, uh, the animation. It started, oh, it, it did indeed, it's 2016. So it's a mere pup, 12 years younger than Facebook. Now it began with a different name, music.ly, and it was a similar platform to what was Twitter's Vine, but it focused very much on trending audio and video features that weren't offered by Instagram and Twitter. So it kind of found its own niche. And now, as I mentioned, there are a billion users on TikTok. But COVID-19, uh, gosh, remember that? <laughs> Doesn't it feel like a little bit uh, of yesteryear? Was the real engine room for the growth of certain platforms. And up on the screen, I don't intend to go down this, but you can see that TikTok was, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, together with Zoom, <laughs> WhatsApp, two of the uh, three of the most downloaded platforms. And it was very much focused on entertainment likes of WhatsApp and Snapchat and messaging all um, moved along, but TikTok found its home there. And some very basic facts, they estimated the world, the world it's a small number that only going to be about 15 million, so a small a chunk of the global market users. Now, the average user opened, uh, user opened tick 19 times, so they're seeing about 19 videos. And it's a bit higher now that people spend on uh, the, a, a, up to 88 oh, minutes a day on TikTok. Those sitting there. Someone said to me today, during the course of a week, if you're active on social media, your finger can travel a mile. Goodness, isn't that a long time? There we go. So 
That's some cold facts. Now, the key thing to think about with TikTok, it's considered to be the most engaging platform. So it's estimated that it'll have an engagement rate of nearly 6%. Not a great slide, but you can see that compares very, very favorably with the likes of Instagram, Facebook, and, and, and Twitter. There's much higher engagement rates using TikTok as using other platforms. And you particularly see it for any of you who are in the world of, oh, making me hungry now, the world of food. They've got much higher engagement rates. So the number of followers and the number of views, you're getting that. But you can see the major things that are used, and I can't read them all down, FMCG food, beverages, jewellery, you know, travel, et cetera, beauty. There's lots of happening there. So if you, if you tick any of those particular boxes, you've got a great opportunity to get high engagement rates. So here's the question. TikTok is for just the youth of today. True or false? So I'm going, to, I'm going to momentarily stop and look at the chat line. Come on. TikTok is just for them youngsters. True or false? False, says Becky. False, true. Feels true, but evidence says not. False, 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 false. Yes, true. Well, your answer is on the next slide. Here is the demographics of TikTok. So you can see a quarter of TikTok users are under nine, 19, if you certain age for that one. Um, and then you can see loads under 29. But for those of you who are slightly more mature, myself included, you can see, uh, what do you mean I don't come into any of those categories? Who said that? Um, you can see, that 30 percent are over 40 and believe it or not i was down in london recently at a tiktok event and the fastest growing demographic is over 60s so you know some some would argue it's not dissimilar you know is it, is it, because it's so young less than seven years old it's by its place so there's a certain element of curiosity now i'm not going to dispute the fact that the majority are of a certain certain profile but it isn't just for the newbies. So you can imagine as a percentage to reach some of the more mature age groups. And the question often asked then is what makes TikTok different? Well, yeah, big mouthful coming up here. TikTok gives visibility to creators independent of their follower count. Woo! I must have cut and pasted that. Fundamentally, you don't need lots of followers to make impact on TikTok. You don't need lots of followers to make an impact on TikTok. I'll give you an example. My first TikTok on, uh, which I could heartily recommend to look at if you've got five. <laughs> I had no followers. I posted a video, and one day later, a thousand people saw the video. All right, my mother watched it 900 times. That's another story. So you can actually reach quite a wide audience without turbocharge of loads of followers. There is obviously a huge benefit to having followers, but you can create great content and reach the numbers without the follower count. This is interesting. When you actually do most surveys, that, that, that when people actually are buying many consumer items, Fascinating and recent suggestions that people will listen to their family and friends. People will see their family and friends wearing such or going somewhere. And the third most influential area is that they've seen it on TikTok. Whoa. Food for thought. And then many of you might be familiar. And if you're not, a little bit of homework for you. I think you might want to look up. I was going to say Google TikTok, but look, TikTok made me buy it. Mentioned cranberry juice and with air fryers, and pasta and the likes. TikTok made me buy it has become quite a significant hashtag. You might want to check that out as a pure influencer. Now, moving on from this, and I spoke about this this morning, that TikTok themselves consider 
the real benefit to being on TikTok for business is live shopping. So you'll actually be on there watching actually a, a product demonstration or a fashion show or demonstration of makeup or whatever it might be, and actually staying on that platform to buy, as opposed to where we are sitting right now, that we may be creating content on Facebook or on another, or, tw or Twitter and linking to a website to actually stay and shop. Key things to remember here, United Kingdom is the 21st biggest country in the world. It is the sixth biggest economy in the world. But per capita, it is the third largest as an e-commerce buyer. So in effect, we're buying per capita more e-commerce than every other country bar two. And then you can ask me the two, I can't remember. You know, I do actually know about the other day. So, so there we go. So the habits are changing. So many of you might be on TikTok seeing what you like and buying it there and then. So for many of you who, are, who might be a consumer product, I don't believe you can buy services over TikTok, but certainly live shopping. With a proviso that to, to enact this, you need at least a thousand followers. I think you have to be over 18 naturally. And I think you've had to have posted, uh, had, had 50 videos. I think, don't hold me to that. So I think you've got to have been in there. But you know, you can see the opportunity exists. But what's fantastic about TikTok is the trending. So you can see there's lots of how to videos, there's lots of hashtag Zoom meeting get ready with me, video show in the morning, user's morning routine. There's so much happening. And then there's some fantastic things about trick shots and pets of TikTok, as well as you can see the trending hashtags and the most significant TikTok creators who may well become influencers for you. Now, the key thing to think about with many of this piece of information here is that you may wish, as I would suggest when we come on to using TikTok, this is a two minute pricey right now. If you want to find out how to use TikTok and or Instagram or Twitter, go on to the TikTok website, go on to the Instagram website and they will tell you. But this is a sanitized version. I'll do it very quickly because it's not really, this is more about how business uses it. So you download the app, you then create a profile. If you can see the little person in the corner, you edit the profile by tapping, you upload a profile video, you add your username and your bio information, and then you can link it to the likes of YouTube and Instagram. So many people in, in, in will create us, will create content on TikTok and cross post into either YouTube or into Instagram, which is always an option because you're into again, short form videos. The key thing then is you'll view your video feed. It appears that everybody's, everybody's feed is different. You'll be sent trending videos. You wonder why it's going on. You'll be following interacting with people and your feed then ultimately becomes personalized. So that the other night, because I'm, I'm a film fan, all of a sudden on my feed appeared the Shawshank Redemption. No spoilers here, but I'm watching it. So there's so much you can be doing. Uh, well, I you know, you never guess the ending anyway. So those of you who say you know, what happened, you know, you, you can see it coming. You're not not telling the truth. So you can see the type of uh, 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 TikTok uh, that that, fa that faces you. So you can see exactly there. You've got the home, you've got friends, you've got posting, and you've got your profile. And, and that's what appears in, in terms of your content. And much like most of the other platforms, you can like, you can commentate or share the videos you enjoy. You can see on the right-hand side of the screen, you've got the heart, you've got the comment, and off you go. So it's very, very visual with your, your finger on the right hand there to post the right-hand side, I should say. But if you really like something, what do you do? You swipe left to toggle their profile, as I have illustrated right now. See, and then you can actually catch up with that person's profile and you can see what else they're up to. Now, I've got some great 
search tools um, within um, TikTok. And if you just look there in the top of the screen, you can actually search for pretty much anything, and then it's going to bring all that good stuff up in front of your very eyes. You like most platforms, you then got the opportunity uh, to follow users and obviously to interact with them, especially if you might want to think of them as being potential influencers. Now, a bit like LinkedIn in many ways, it within the settings is a great thing to do is actually to find, and you can see it on the screen, find your QR code, much in the same way as, as, as I've certainly used on LinkedIn. So if you're going to a meeting with somebody, you're meeting friends and family, you get your QR code out, they scan your QR code so they can follow you. So make it easy if you're actually involved in physical networking to get many businesses doing that. So certainly for LinkedIn and for TikTok, it's a great thing to do to use the QR codes. Now, here are some very much some tips. It's not a how to use TikTok event, but some great special special effects. There are so many different ways you can uh, you can turbocharge, red bull eyes your videos. There are music is obviously a critical thing, so you can add sound tracks to that. And you know, a lot of videos have sound in them, which are you know is available for for you to 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 use on the platform. Some of you may do, want to avoid that, but often that's the the atypical TikTok is to have video accompanied by sound songs and effect. Some tip, tips here. You, you probably think that you want to film a few videos and focus, film in different ways. It can be a bit bland just filming somebody's head. But if you can film it so in that way and film it from the side or from the back, you know, as you, as you might see in a Hollywood production, it might be more slightly more interesting and active. Film it from looking down, film it from looking up. You might wish to experiment by doing it in different ways. But the critical thing here is, you know, and is not, don't be afraid to show that lighter side, that sense of humour, because people come here to be entertained. You're not listening to Eli Woods. But, uh, so think that you might take, as I always say with social media, that calculated risk about doing something differently. It doesn't matter if you're not word perfect. It doesn't matter if you're a blooper, because people want to buy into the brand personality. So the next thing, same way as Instagram and many other platforms, you want to be using trendy hashtags. And critically, many things that have grown on TikTok is a challenge. So there's often lots of challenges you can, you can uh, take part in, but also create your own challenges. So is finding the hashtags so people can find you and enacting challenges. So that is a whistle-stop talk through how to use TikTok and how to get you going. I was going to just spend the rest of the time just showing you how businesses use TikTok. Now I'm just going to stop for a moment. Have a little libation. Quickly check the chat line, see if there's any questions. If not, we'll plow on. Oops. The first way in which we can know is many businesses use it naturally for marketing campaigns. Before we just touch on that, I just want to focus very much on the TikTok algorithm. The critical thing is to hook your audience within three seconds. Whoa. Think really carefully about how powerful it is in terms of those that initial visual image. Secondly, as I mentioned a moment ago, you may wish to embrace some of the features and use trending audio. I would highly recommend as you do on most marketing, there are thousands of people on, on TikTok as there are on other platforms. Can you find your niche? Now I know Becky's on the call and, and isn't Becky's world pumpkins? So, you know, pumpkins, there's loads of stories that can be told in, in that particular area. So you're thinking about all the different stuff that you can actually do. But key thing is to spend time experimenting with all the different features that TikTok provides. But critically, you must 
make it easily digestible so it meets that short attention span. And you think of it the same way for other platforms that you've got the same rules applying on Instagram and wherever LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. You've got to hit people straight away. Much the same way as someone lands on your website and they, they choose to click after about two, three seconds. So get the audience hooked, use the audio, focus on niche, experiment with all the fantastic features that exist and think about making it easily digestible. So you actually then will have your the algorithm working in your favor so you're more likely for your TikToks to be found. Let's come back to the marketing campaigns. I'm just gonna focus on Fenty Beauty. So they communicate inclusivity within their platform. And again, like we saw before, they're using Instagram, Twitter if, to focus on customer content, YouTube to show tutorials, but they use TikTok for behind the scenes, review videos, and user-generated content. So you can see the type of material they are putting up there in the same way. So if we want to check out on TikTok, look at Fenty Beauty, how they're using it for that behind the scenes elements. Then we might come on, you can see that they've created special TikTok bundles. So in the tick in the shop, these are these are products and, and uh, beauty products specifically for TikTok. Second way, in many businesses focus very much on you know, issues of diversity and inclusion. An example of the It's Get a project, It Gets Better project, who were using uh, TikTok and, and working in harmony uh, with uh, uh, schools uh, to actually uh, focus on teachers. So there's lots of TikTok about people, uh, you know, of, of uh, uh, minority communities talking about about their time in uh, with teachers. So there to as a as a pro, as a business to raise its profile to get funding for schools, but diversity is a way forward. Key thing then is about culture, third way. So here is a great example of how Zoom as a business use TikTok. So rather you can imagine Zoom being a somewhat dry, and so they are you know, using TikTok. So rate, rating co-workers costumes. So, for all the Zoom, we're on a Zoom call there, and each and every one of the uh, of the Zoom employees is dressed up in Halloween um, costumes. I can't, um, so you can use it in terms of trying to generate an interesting culture associated with the business. So here are some ideas for that type of principle. This is about a day in the life for each department. I've often quoted the likes of the newspaper, the Washington Post of the US, at focusing behind the scenes for journalists. Benefits of working with the company are your team reflecting the brand. You can take people on a tour of the office or on your campsite or wherever it might be, around your restaurant, around your business. And you can talk about the, you know, what I call the unfiltered employee experience. So it's kind of peeling back the onion. Don't be frightened not to show what's going on behind the scenes. So all about the culture because that feeds into a couple of things we'll talk about a little later. Now, many of you will be thinking about using TikTok to showcase the products you do. And it's fascinating that most businesses, users say they discovered brands they've never heard of before on TikTok, which is back to that point we made earlier, that, that you know, it's an influential there. TikTok made me buy it. And many users on TikTok, they've purchased something they've seen on the app. Nearly half of all users are buying on having seen something. And Vimeo, a good example. Now, video, Vimeo, as you know, is a, a video platform, and they have embraced what may be perceived as like competitor in TikTok. They gain nearly over a quarter million followers and over a million likes because they, you know, they were using hashtags and challenges and they were what showing some of the new video editing apps that appear on Vimeo and they were showing them on a video-based social media platform. That's Poacher, Gamekeeper, 
whatever it is, you, you go where your audience is. So Vimeo used TikTok to promote its latest video editing content. Now, one of the key things with um, TikTok, as with Instagram, it's a haven for influencers. So you think about partnering with an influencer because they have the, they have the numbers, they've got the trust, and you know influencers, you know people are keen to, to to promote products. So here is a great example: huge platform, Adobe. Which you may be familiar with uh, with Adobe Publisher and all those things. They partnered with a photo photography influencer called Stephen Clock to highlight the creative use of their software. And here is. So they're using a, a business much smaller than them, but he's a huge photography influencer on TikTok. And the part of him, and he's showcasing what a big brand like Adobe can do. So for want of a, a bit of an old fashioned expression, it looks cool. So even the biggest brands are using that. So it's about, you may choose to partner with a certain degree of influencers. Recruitment. Many uh, many businesses use TikTok to recruit. So it became like even nurses and delivery drivers create their own videos celebrating their jobs. But then recruiters realized the tactic could be reversed to attract the talent. So Canva, the Australian you know, software business, use I've used TikTok to, to try and to find people who are showcasing creative talent to recruit them and then they will show them being creative to show them the benefits of joining the company. Many businesses, you know, it's a great place to go. If you can see a brand that you like, you're more likely to join them. So you may have to think that if you're going to use TikTok for a small business, what a great place to work. You want to attract talent to your business, showcasing what you do behind the scenes and the company culture. Is it fun thinking these are the kind of businesses I'd like to, to, to join? So many businesses, and I know I'm even working with a hospice that's using TikTok to recruit nurses and healthcare assistants. It shows you what can be done by just harnessing the platform in a slightly different way. And this is straight, as I mentioned, if not, go here on the TikTok website. TikTok is an entertainment platform, powered by a community. But here we are, TikTok resumes. Great place, a program is piloting for recruitment and job discovery. So, you, so if you, know, you get the opportunity to TikTok to some major brands, so for those of you who want to join some of the Target and Shopify and others, here is an opportunity. So it goes way beyond just thinking of it as a place that youngsters look at content. Here is a home for actually potentially finding your ne next opening. So it's only US-based at this moment. But then you may choose to use TikTok for product education. And here is a great example of Microsoft, the Bill and his family. How to convert a Word document into PowerPoint in three steps. Even a brand that may be perceived to be dynamic like Microsoft are using pseudo competitor to actually reach an audience and showing what, how to use it. So again, using the platform in a different way. I'll finish because I'm conscious we're up to nearly three calls an hour. So just think about all the metrics for businesses to track what you do. Huge, on, I'm not gonna read all this on the screen, but you can look at your growth rate of your followers, your videos, your profiles, your likes, your content performance, your website views. It's really important as with TikTok as any platform to measure your success. To see, you know, because people will say, well, I've got a thousand views. Great, you've got so many profile views, likes and shares, but where has it led? That's always the question. So we'll finish with some TikTok do's and don'ts. Critically, with your do's, you want to incorporate the latest trends into your TikToks. You promote using the right hashtags 
and also the appropriate sounds for your audience. You let other brands inspire you. So you're, not, you, you, you're seeing what others can do. So you actually, it's a great place to go to learn yourselves. But critically, if you're creating TikTok, you must find your own voice and style. So whatever you do, please don't try and replicate what somebody else did. Find your own voice. And critically, to stick to a regular cadence to continue growing your following. So you're going to create, for example, 10 second videos, you're going to wear your branded outfit, you're going to, you're going to create entertainment, but, but to be totally consistent in what you do. And if you get the opportunity to seek out and partner with influencers who, who replicate your brand. But, to, but unlike a lot of other platforms, less so Instagram, you can take effect of their editing tools because it helps if you're using their editing tools, it'll also help with the Google, with the Google, with the TikTok algorithm, as opposed to doing it in another platform and bringing it in, so you can create it within that. And try and set a trend. And we should actually don't replicate what other people do. Seeing brands as competition, not as inspiration. Unauthentic or contrived always trying to produce the same sort of stuff and tre trends after they've run the course. For example, cranberry juice and pasta bake have, have, have reached their sell-by date, no pun intended. So you can see the do's and the don'ts. So there's a lot that you can be doing. How to make money on TikTok, quickity quick. You can always set up links to your website, which are in your bio. You can promote the partnerships you're working with. Social commerce, as I mentioned, the future is live shopping. There's the creator fund. You might wish to delve down that. So you have to be a TikTok user. You have to have 10,000 followers. So there's a great op opportunity to be a, you know, a creator. Critically, many businesses and straight from their TikTok website, don't think about making ads, make videos. What you learn here, you can put into place elsewhere. As I mentioned, for those who have a certain number of followers, it's a great opportunity to sell. So, you know, here is a, a dog site selling with loads of followers, lots of likes. You can see that where you know, the likes are great. There's a dog, you know, selling items on, on TikTok. So some great opportunities. For those of you service-based businesses, you can offer your service. So there's Elise here is giving lots of tips. So you can, you can actually create brand awareness by doing tips that always have to be product-based. But many, many people are moving now to more mature. You grow your account and you can then sell it. So there's, there's residual income potentially by using TikTok and harness it in the right way. Whew, three quarters an hour. Hey, we got to it. So hopefully you've got, you, you've got an insight very quick uh, as to some of the inspiration you might find from seeing TikTok. Now I'm going to try and take questions. Any difficult ones I'll ignore, but I'll try and answer them as best I can. If you want to drop something on the chat line and I'll do my best. If not, I will send a link to the video and you can watch again to your heart's content. So just oops, I'll stop the share. And does anybody have any questions? Well, thank you, Harry. I hope you enjoyed it. So the quickity quick tour through the world of TikTok. Do hashtags work in the sewing ways Instagram? Yes, they do. It's important to find the uh, the right um, the right ones that are trending, and that's how people can find you. Less less active on so on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter, but yes, yeah, the same principles. Looking for the trending hashtags. There's websites like hashtag you find me in place like that. you can go to find the trending hashtags you can see them on TikTok as well. Send you into silence. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if there aren't any, I'm going to bid you au revoir. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. We're back. We'll keep an eye out on the, the Humber Growth website. We're back 
doing some workshops. And I think we're back next week for a webinar as well, which I think is so uh, we'll uh, keep your beady eyes on the Humber Growth site and we'll be delighted to, um, to share some knowledge with you. But until then, enjoy the rest of Valentine's Day. Stay safe. See you soon.